join our hearts to begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Hope we all slept well. <laughs> Did we? Yes. We thank God for his blessings. At this Mass, we pray for <coughs> repose to the soul of Mr. and Mrs. Lewis Packer. As we continue to ask God to bless you, to guide you, to strengthen you, defend you, and provide for you. And as we continue to ask God to bless all your efforts during the church fest, that he may reward you abundantly through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners and in need of God's grace. Let us therefore look into ourselves, see the times we have failed God by our manner of life and have offended others. Let us be sincerely sorry for those times as we humbly ask God for his pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all, by pardoning and showing mercy, restore, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attend your promises, earth to the treasures of heaven, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Proclamation from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet come peoples, the inhabitants of many cities, and inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another and say, Come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go to seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to implore the favor of the Lord. And thus says the Lord of hosts, in those days ten men of every nationality, speaking of different tongues, shall take hold, yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, God is with us. God is with us. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. God, God is, is with us. us. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those that know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. God, God is with us. us. They shall know when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. God, God is, is with, with us. us. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A son of man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for man. 
Today, the Lord talks to us about tolerance. Tolerance. Jesus was on a journey to Jerusalem. First of all, I believe we all know, because we've talked about it here before, the Jews and the Samaritans do not meet. They are not friends. And that was why we had the story of the good Samaritan who saw a Jew beaten down and he helped. He helped. Today, Jesus, a Jew, as it were, was on his way to Jerusalem, but decided to do what is never thought of and done. He wanted to have his reception within a Samaritan house. Not just a Samaritan town, but in a Samaritan house. The image I will give you, and you will, you will kind of get what it means, will actually be in the, in the, the image of the early black and white racial problems. You get what I mean? <laughs> Within the, the, the uh, early 30s and 40s and 50s and probably 60s and 70s. It will be like a black man saying he's going to a white area to go and host a party. You can imagine what he will get. Am I right? So also was it at the time of Jesus a Jew going into a, a Samaritan town and choosing a Samaritan house to host his Passover, to host his disciples, to do a party. So you can understand why obviously the Samaritans rejected Jesus. They have heard of his strength. They know him very well to be a Jew. They didn't want him in their midst. He was not acceptable. But Jesus knew that, look, he was on the way to Jerusalem for a particular purpose, to die and to reconcile all men with God. He wanted to break that barrier of enmity, that barrier of segregation, to bring the Jews and the Samaritans together, to break those walls of anger and replace it with peace, replace it with understanding, replace it with dialogue, replace it with interaction. He only knew what he wanted to do. But then, as it were, the Samaritans refused it. Said, no, we do not want him. I want you to look at the action of Jesus. He was not worried. He was not troubled. But his disciples became problematic. James, then the sons of, of, the sons of thunder, Boenegas, said to Jesus, Lord, do you want us to call fire from heaven to consume them? They became very angry. They wanted to call down fire from heaven. Meanwhile, heaven was with them. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. They wanted to invoke God to bring down fire. Meanwhile, the God who could send the fire was there with them. The word of God said, Jesus rebuked them. Remember this word, rebuke. 
he did not caution them. He did not stop them, but he rebuked them. That was a very big word. Or that is a very big word. And that was a very big action that Jesus took. He looked at his disciples in the face. Do not think of that. Stop that kind of action. Calm down and have faith. Let love rule you. He rebuked them. We do not face anger with anger. Trouble with trouble. Fire for fire. No. We are born Christians. We are both in Christ. Our actions should be actions of peace and reconciliation. You get God couldn't have on his way to bring reconciliation, destroy a city. Are you with me? No. He had to show that I am love incarnate. I am love myself. I am peace. His disciples were intolerant. What about ourselves? What does it say to us? How much do we tolerate others? How much anger do we have in our hearts when people refuse our comments? When people refuse to help us? When sometimes even people refuse to do good? To receive others is an act of charity. To give them a place to stay is what God has asked us to do. The Samaritans refused it. And James became very upset. How often do we become upset when things do not go our way? How often do we hit people with the, with the bad words when they don't comply to what we think they should do or how we think things should be? The Lord is calling us today, my brothers and sisters, to a very calm life, to a life of understanding, to a life of peace. Even in the face of rejection, Jesus was rejected. By the Samaritans, he was never upset. He took it easy. He knew what he was going to accomplish. He prayed for them and he headed on to them. Let us, my brothers and sisters, be compassionate. Let us be tolerant. Let us show some love every day of our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We will rise and in faith and joy bring our prayers to our compassionate God who is ready to tolerate, forgive, and grant our needs. Through the power of the cross, inspire the leaders of the church to greater care of the people of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the power of the cross, inspire the leaders of the nation to greater care of all people in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the power of the cross, renew the spirit of this community of faith and witness to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the power of the cross, bless all gathered here in prayer. Give us new life in the shadow of the cross. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the power of the cross, give comfort to all who are ill and peace to those grown old in service of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the power of the cross, lead all who have died, especially those who were massacred in Las Vegas, to eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own personal intention. In thanksgiving to, to God for the success of our check first. Lord, in your mercy, bless all our members and non-members. Bless all your children who contributed and sacrificed their time, their money, their energy, their words, their encouragement, who sacrificed everything to see that we succeed in our church first. Lord, bless your children. Work for them. Bless their time. Bless their families. Bless their undertaking. Bless their generosity. In your mercy, Lord, be generous to them. Grant them good health of mind and body. Answer their prayers. Visit their families. Protect them. Grant them your love. And come to their aid. We pray to the Lord. Amen. God our Father, in your mercy, hear our prayers which we bring before you in faith, spoken and unspoken, through Christ our Lord. Blessed 
are you, Lord God of all creation? Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given our human hands of name. May become for us our bread of life. Yes, we God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a new fall, so that they will become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Archbishop, Charles' Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters,
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, Saint Paul, Saint Patrick, Saint Francis, Saint Ignatius, Saint Anthony, Saint James, Saint Elizabeth, Saint Cecilia, Saint Veronica, Saint Anne de Beaupre, Saint Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marriage to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We join our hearts. Let us call God Father, as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and joy and healing of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Now let us share a sign of peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. My brothers and sisters, behold him, Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world who tolerates our mistakes and grants us forgiveness. Happy are those of us called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen.
this we came to know the love of God, that Christ laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our lives for one another. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coerced in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united, whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Spirit. Do have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you.